I chose exactly the wrong time to focus on self-care. Hi Internet, I'm Steve, and this is Raffo. I'm back, baby! Therapy is great, thanks for asking. Since my last video, everything in the world has happened. Brandon decided to break the internet, and most of our bank accounts, by creating the most successful Kickstarter ever. Number one in terms of actual dollars raised, 41,745,153. More than doubling the number two spot. Oh, pebble time. How I miss you. And number two in individual backer count, 185,000 to the original Exploding Kittens, 219,000. And that was after he broke the internet with all of us speculating what his important announcement was even going to be. Thank you, Brandon, for calming our fears for your health with this incredibly cryptic and unsatisfying message. Mmm. Lies. If you are one of those avoiding spoilers for the four secret novels we'll be getting over the next year, don't worry, I will definitely be talking about them, but in a later series. Seriously, next year is going to be crazy. For those of you who backed the top tier of the Kickstarter, whew, if you know, you know. Every single month of 2023, something Sanderson is going to arrive at your front door. January, April, July, and October will have secret projects 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. Really, everybody will be getting those, at least as ebooks. But then there come the swag boxes, for which I am stoked! Coming off the tales of last year's release of Cytonic and the recent hardcover printing of the Skyward Flight novellas, February will bring us the Cytoverse-themed box, which has been confirmed to contain, among other most excellent things, a deck of Doomslug-themed playing cards. I'm gonna rip out your spleen, burn it to a crisp, and sprinkle it over your children as they weep on your grave! Dude, it's just go fish. March will have a Hoyd box, including a sheet of Book Award-esque stickers, with Hoyd proclaiming the contents to be 100% pure nonsense. Right there. May's box will be Mistborn-themed, probably a mix of both Era 1 and Era 2 content, and June will have swag from Cell, Elantris, and Emperor's Soul. Can you imagine a Sion Nightlight? Or a Wax Seal Soul Stamp set? <laughs> for my birthday, August will be a themed box for the entire Cosmere. Pretty broad, so I assume it'll have some crossovery stuff between series and worlds. September will be focused on Warbreaker, with the revealed item I'm very most excited for, a Nightblood letter opener. Hello, would you like to destroy some mail today? November will be Stormlight Archive themed, with plenty of potential awesomeness for that. Then the year will end with a Sander Fan box, containing a nice writing notebook with prompts from Brandon's own brain. Yes, I am getting all the things, so you can expect unboxings and lore dumps from me every month of 2023. And that's not even counting all the stuff that was planned on being released next year anyway. If the 2021 State of the Sanderson is accurate, probably, then we should be getting the final Skyward novel, Defiant, in the spring, the Words of Radiance leather-bound Kickstarter in the summer, with the rock novella probably part of that, and Stormlight 5 slated for release Christmas 2023. And if that's not enough content for you, we still have half of this year to get through! We just had Legion, Death, and Faxes come out, the White Sand graphic novel Omnibus is available for pre-order, the ebook of Lux, The Reckoner's Story, should be coming next month, Alcatraz 6, Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians, releasing in September, a new Dark One audio story coming in October, and finally the 2022 Dragon Steel Convention, culminating in the release of Wax and Wayne 4, The Lost Metal, in November. Plus, re-releases of Alcatraz 1 through 5 in paperback, an ebook of the original, and the audiobook of Dawn Shard, which we were promised for this year. That's a whole lot of stuff, and I will be making videos about all of it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I am in a much better place with myself emotionally, and I'm going to be shifting my focus entirely to content creation, if I don't get hired by Dragonsteel. So the amount of videos I post on all of my different platforms is about to go up. If you can, support me on Patreon, where you can get access to all of my previous scripts, get sneak peeks at videos I'm working on, talk theories with me and a bunch of other excellent folk, shout out to my buddy Chris, hope you're doing alright, and even view the research I'm doing for future videos. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to stay in the know of everything I'm working on. The Cosmere Connections videos are coming next, so go read and find out! Out. Uh, let's, yeah, let's call that.